Hey guys, it's Allie with Allie Answers, and I am gonna answer a question today that is my least favorite question that I've ever received, but it's not the first time I've received it, so it's time to talk about it. If you are a first time viewer, welcome. And if you are a subscriber or you've been watching, welcome back. If you've not yet subscribed, I hope that you will. And you can hit the little bell down below and it will notify you whenever we have a new upload. Question that was asked of me that I absolutely did not want to talk about, but it is something that needs to be discussed is a family member asked me, isn't it true that hospice is just assisted suicide? Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Hospice is not assisted suicide, not in the least, okay? So let's talk about the differences. First of all, it's illegal, we don't do that, but assisted suicide is when a person decides they've had enough and they are assisted in ending their life. We don't do that. Hospice does nothing to bring about the end of life. On the contrary, what we do is allow a natural death to occur and make sure that the person is not in pain and we handle and control any symptoms that we can so that a person is not suffering. There's a very big difference between these two because with hospice, we are not in control of when a person passes away and we still do certain things to try to help the body. So for example, my company still uses antibiotics. I know there are some hospice companies that don't, but my company does. So if you or your loved one were to have a terminal illness and you qualified for the hospice benefit and you came on service with us and then God forbid you had a diagnosis of pneumonia, for example, whether it was aspiration pneumonia from taking food into the wrong tube or whether it was pneumonia as a consequence of like a cold or something, we, were, we will treat that illness. We will treat pneumonia with an antibiotic. If someone has an infection, we treat it. If someone has a UTI, we treat with an antibiotic. I know there are some companies that don't do that. Ours does. But regardless, we don't do anything to bring about a death early, ever. And I know that it is something that a lot of people think because I actually had a physician say to me, well, I know what you do and you kind of help the person get to the next stage. I'm like, no, we do not. No, we don't. If this is a question you have wanted to ask, if this is something that you have been concerned about or that you've mis been misinformed and you believed, I'm here to reaffirm that no, 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 hospice does not bring about the death of someone. All we do is create a comfortable environment, control the symptoms, and allow the person to pass peacefully. Now, there are times that a person is in so much pain that they're not able to pass, and so they are struggling, and once we get that pain under control and we get them comfortable, then a lot of times they will pass away, but that does not mean that the medication that they were given for pain caused the death. What caused the death was the terminal illness that got them approved for the hospice benefit. Now, as a quick reminder, the hospice benefit brings in nurses into the home, CNAs into the home. You can have home health aid workers that are there to assist with bathing and dressing and grooming. You have a lot of education and a lot of support for extended members of the family and for the patient themselves. There is a social worker and a chaplain available to assist you if you need to have hard conversations. It is a way for the family to be prepared for something that is going to happen, whether you choose hospice or not. Guys, we don't have the power to stop someone from dying if it is on the schedule today. Okay, we can do CPR, we can give medication, we can give chemo until there is no more veins to put chemo in. But when it's a person's time to go, it is their time to go. And all we do is allow that to happen while supporting you and supporting that patient. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you will share it with someone who needs to see it today. And I wish you all the very best. Have a good one. Bye-bye.